last time we spoke with you was after the Michigan I forget which game. FL Michigan State. I think it was before State. Michigan State. Game. Michigan State yeah. yeah. I guess how have you seen the offensive line grow since then? You were very critical of the line at the time. So yeah, I think the biggest thing we got we're able to get some consistency and kind of figure out who our guys were. Um, I think we've had since the Coastal Carolina game, we have had the same starting offensive line and had the same guys and and, and People think you could just sometimes swap those guys in and out, but there's something to guys just getting a feel for playing next to one another. And um, I think you're starting to see that guy see that with our group. Um, and we're getting a group that that's also played a lot of football together here in Miami. I mean, Jakai Clark, this is his third year starting. Navon's it's Navon's birthday today, actually, but Navon um, Navon's played here forever. Uh, Scape's a four-year starter. Jared Williams is, was a freshman when I graduated. So we we've, we've got some experienced guys that have. Uh, that are playing together, and I think it's finally showing, and, and they have some continuity. Aaron, you mentioned the experienced guys, and next year some of, the, some of them will be moving on. Mm -hmm. Like, do you prefer to attack it through recruiting, through the portal? Like, how do you sort of see for next year, like, what you want to do? Yeah, well, I mean, the unfortunate thing about the injuries we have this year is that you have injuries. The unfortunate thing is you have some guys kind of waiting. Like, John Campbell's a guy who started last year, who's, who's really a started games the last few years. He'll come back and, and be one of our tackles. Jalen Rivers, who was playing better than anyone, will be back at guard. Um, we anticipate, you know, I mean, we anticipate having five, five, six guys back who have actually played a game. So I don't, I don't think we have a pressing need to necessarily go out and get a guy. You also have a guy like Justice Oluwashan who played some earlier this year. He's only going to get better. Um, so I think we've got a core nucleus of guys that we don't feel pressed that we have to go get a guy. Now you're never going to turn down any special player, but. That's not something we're look, approaching this offseason saying we have to go get one of these guys. Hey, Garen, what, uh, what's, how different is it uh, protecting Tyler Van Dyke you know, than Derek? Yeah, well, Derek, Derek's such a good athlete. He, he just, you never know where he's going to be at. You know, he always keeps the play alive, and, and that's, that's a good and bad thing because you got to keep playing. Um, Tyler, Tyler's very much, a, a, he knows that. He doesn't want to be a sitting duck back there, so he's a pretty quick decision maker. The thing I think we've been doing well with Tyler is we've spent a lot of our RPO game, um, so he's been making quick bang bang decisions even on the run game. So now we're not sitting like say the Michigan State game, we're not sitting and doing drop back pass protection 50 times a game. We're we're it's only eliminated out 10 or 12, which that that minimizes our chance to really make something uh, or make a mistake. So. I think, uh, and, and Tyler's done an excellent job of managing that and, and just getting rid of the ball quick. Uh, so they're two different guys. Um, I think I think you've seen Tyler just, or us trying to just play his strengths, whereas we're locking the backside, whereas before we're doing more zone read stuff with De'Eric. Now we're locking the backside and, and making it more so where he reads guys with his eyes and, and the throws. So uh, that's, and, that, and really like the pit game, a lot of our passing yards were through that, you saw um, Jacoby George, Jamela Branson's early catches. Those were RPO games where we call a run and he just reads it and, and makes the throw. So that helps us because we don't have to protect. <laughs> we're blocking a run and, and he makes a quick decision and makes a good throw. How will FSU be a different kind of animal for, for you guys? The noise factor, if a lot of fans. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I mean, really, I'm because the you can't really say the Alabama game because there were a lot of Miami fans there. Um, and then the year before, we didn't have any anyone to crowd. It's probably, I don't know, North Carolina game in 2019 was the last time they probably had a hectic stadium. Uh, so that's that is a challenge in and of itself, just handling that noise. Um, you've seen things like North Carolina, we were backed up in their student section, and, and the noise got us one time. So. That's stuff that we're trying to work on. We're trying to simulate with by doing stuff in the indoor, but you never really know until you're in that moment how we're going to respond. I have one more, if you guys don't mind. Short, short yardage situations yep. that you guys have struggled. Um, what have you seen? That's a problem. How do you fix that? Yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't. The thing we can't do is we can't just make it this thing. And, and because the previous two games we won the game through four minute drill. Uh, this game we didn't. Um, and, and you look back on it, and you're just like, and, and I felt probably the same way you guys felt. It's like, man, we got to do something other than this feels like they're outnumbering us. It feel like we're in a bad spot. Um, and, and you look at it, one was just just a, a miscommunication between our right side on the first time, the one where Cody tried to jump. Um, the other one, the fourth and one, that was just a, that was a bad decision by the quarterback. He should have pulled and read it. Um, the second and three and the four-minute drill, 
Uh, just a bad read by Rooster. And, and the last one, the, four, the third and one to ice the game, that was, again, something on the right side. So it, it's not like you look at it and say, man, we got we to gotta totally overhaul and change. We do have to do better. We, we do have to make sure our guys know the answers. We, make sure, we do have to make sure our guys can execute better in those situations. Um, but we don't need to come out and throw all these tight ends and full backs and totally change our scheme and do what we do. We can't make it such an overcorrection that now we make it even worse than what it was. So do we have to address it? Do we have to emphasize it? Of course. Do we have to be better at it? Of course. But we also couldn't. We also can look at it to, to an extreme and also mess this up. So we got to be careful with that. Seems like. Since Jared's coming into the starting line of the starting line, you guys really been going along that right side. I guess what was keeping it down and starting early in the season, and I guess what have you seen from him that's really solidified things? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, and, and and that's me and Jared have a great relationship. And um, coming coming into it in August camp, he, he just was struggling on the edge some in our pass protection, and uh, we knew that we knew that we wanted to rely on Derek throwing a lot down the field and. And uh, he was just struggling some with that. And that was the biggest reason why. Uh, I think the other thing that, that kind of messed us up all of August camp was Zion was out. So we're shuffling guys all over. So like we had Jared at left tackle some, we had Scaife here and, and it kind of threw us out of sync and out of rhythm. Uh, and, and unfortunately I didn't do a good job of sorting that out quicker. But um, at the time we just felt that he wasn't giving us quite what we needed on the edge pass wise. But to his credit, he's been lights out since this came to line up. Yeah, I think it's the best group we've seen up front since Michigan State. Um, that they are um, big time, big physical group, uh, best edge rushers we've seen probably since Alabama. Um, really, really talented guys off the edge, um, physical in what they do. It's a four down front. Um, it, yeah, it, it's it, it, we got our work cut out for us. We're gonna have to have a good day. Um, and, and but they're not going to disguise who they are. It's, it's we're four down. We're going to move some, but come and get it. It's us against them, and uh, it's a good challenge. Our, I know our guys are excited about it, but uh, we're going to have to show up and have a great day.